You've heard about making money with Amazon KDP and you've probably seen some impressive royalty reports, but can you actually get rich with self-publishing? Stick around to the end of this video and you're gonna find out. So I've been publishing for about five years now and this question comes up all the time in our Facebook groups. People are asking, you know, can I get rich? Is it going to allow me to travel around the world? You know, maybe they want a fancy car. Everyone has a different idea of what this looks like. You see a lot of the videos and content around Amazon FBA or Shopify, people doing e-com that sold some sort of widget and they became millionaires. So there's a lot of content about that. So there's no question that people have gotten really rich by doing these physical product businesses. But when it comes to print on demand, there isn't really a lot of people out there letting you know what the potential of it is. When I first got into Amazon KDP, there was like this rumor or like old wise tale that everyone believed and it was once you hit $10,000 per month in royalties, that was the top. You couldn't go past that. We didn't know about anyone making more than that and this was years ago. So you believed it. You thought, okay, I've hit $10,000 a month in royalties. Now I have to pick up a new business model. I need to go into something like FBA or maybe I got to become an eBay seller or a YouTuber. But that was the limit, $10,000. If you talk to anyone that's been in publishing for three or four years, they'll tell you that they heard this and there's good odds that they fell for it. They probably, you know, hit that mark and then they went on to another business. And then later on, royalty reports start coming out as things became a little more mainstream and you'd see people doing thirty dollars or $40,000 in a month. And then all of a sudden that mental block was gone and they came back to publishing and continue on having success. And a lot of us came from different backgrounds, like could have been MLM or some sort of internet marketing where we failed or had very small success until we got to publishing. So imagine scaling your business, finally finding something that works amazing for you, getting to $10,000 in that first year monthly, and then just stopping. You know, when I say it now, it doesn't make any sense because can you imagine that you put out 10 or 20 books and you're at $10,000 and then if you put out another five or 10, you're just gonna stay at 10,000? It didn't make any sense then, it doesn't now, but a lot of us fell for that. It reminds me a lot of the four minute mile. I think it was 1954. No one had ever ran a four minute mile and they thought it was humanly impossible until Roger Baster came along and he broke that. And if we fast forward today to 2023, there's been almost 2,000 people who have beat that four minute mark, including high school kids. So the 10K, just like the four minute mile, a lot of it was mental. Until you see someone else do it, you can't believe it's possible for yourself. So these days, 10K is like a starting place. And then it goes well beyond that. And there's some people doing some crazy numbers now. So the definition of rich is a very subjective thing. Some people might say they're rich because they have great friends and family around. Maybe they're rich because of you know actual possessions or where they live in the world. There's lots of different ways to define it, but for the purpose of this video, we're gonna define rich as becoming a millionaire or a multi-millionaire. I know multiple people have become millionaires through Amazon KDP, but for the most part, you won't have heard of them. There might be one or two that are actually on YouTube, but the nature of the business is that it attracts introverts because it's a faceless business and you're not dealing with the end user, the customer. Even with other things like e-commerce, you are still you know, interacting with the customer. It's a little more hands-on. So the people that get into this business and tend to excel to a much higher level and get to the millionaire status tend to be introverted. And that's why you're not gonna see them coming on YouTube in droves and making videos. And also if they're doing something really well, they probably don't want you to find their books because obviously there's people who try and come in and copy and take their royalties. So there's two ways that I know of to become a millionaire or to become rich with Amazon KDP. Number one, that's building up a brand to twenty to $30,000 a month. This is gonna take time for most people. It's gonna happen gradually. But once you get there, you can kind of back on the brakes a little bit and allow that money to just keep coming in and you can start investing it and putting in passive things that are gonna grow it like index funds. Now, this is not financial advice. This is just what I know other KDP millionaires are doing with their money. Once this money's coming in and you're investing it, 
You want to continue to live below your means so and let that money compound. The biggest mistake we all make is that once we start making some more money, we start spending it. So our spending catches up to the money that's coming in and then all of a sudden it doesn't matter that you're making twenty or $30,000 a month because you're spending it all on stuff. And so at a certain point, it matters more how much you can save than how much you're making. Obviously, if you're only making a grand or two a month, then you know it doesn't matter so much. But anywhere after ten or twenty thousand dollars, that's really the equation. How much can you keep and invest? And unfortunately, a lot of people with high incomes, like good examples of this, are doctors or lawyers, are tend to be people that are still quite broke because they get this money to come in, and they feel like they have to live a certain kind of life and drive a sports car and have the fancy house or apartment. And ultimately it gets you nowhere. So stay frugal. The second way I see people get rich with Amazon KDP is that they sell or exit their business. Typically this is done through a broker such as Empire Flippers. I myself sold my KDP business a few years back. I have another one now, but I sold that for six figures. And to be honest, the whole process was quite easy and like smooth. They do take a commission, but they make it really easy on you and they already have a whole bunch of buyers who are looking for businesses like yours. So if you've ever thought about selling, don't be intimidated. Just go list with someone like Empire and let them walk you through the process. Typically how this works is you would submit your information. They'll get in contact with you. They'll figure out what your 12 month average is. So let's say over the last year, your average profit, like minus ads and everything like that, is about $10,000. They would say, okay, your average monthly is $10,000. And then depending on the age or how many reviews the book has or how secure the business is, they'll give you a number, usually between 35 and 45 right now. So let's just say that it's 40. So let's go, okay, 10,000 a month, 40. You're going to get $400,000 or if it was 20, you're going to get $800,000. So there's people that build up their businesses and they're doing 20 or $30,000 a month. They've been saving and investing that money. And then one day they decide, okay, I'm done. And they go and they sell it and then they get another 800,000 or a million for it. So between these two strategies, it's like, okay, like you now have enough money to retire in most cases. And you don't have to work again. And all you did was build one Amazon KDP brand. It's pretty amazing to be honest. So the answer is yes. I know KDP millionaires and there's more being made every day. I see people come into these Facebook groups that have gotten into a course and they've just done all the right things and had luck on their side. And they're only a year or a year and a half into things and they already have a business that's worth a million dollars. So it's extremely possible for you but you have to stick with one thing. You can't deviate or get shiny object syndrome. You gotta stick to self-publishing. If you're in a course, follow that course and just continue to get better. And we're like with these videos, every video I wanna put out, I wanna get a little bit better and improve. And then I know at a certain point, you know, I'll get to a spot where people actually wanna watch these. If you're planning on getting rich from KDP, let me know down in the comments. I wanna hear from you and uh, hold you accountable.